Allahbar. Arad Allahbar. Arad Allahbar. Allahbar. Arad. Allahbar. Arad Alright, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of the new Arado, we are playing Arado Thunder. No, it is not War Thunder. Arado Thunder is a completely different game. For when you have a plane, a jet, plane rather, that's uh, underpowered and clearly underarmed. It has no gunners and no forward firing guns. Then you've got to play a whole nother style of game entirely. Now this plane has been likened to a cruise missile. It's got jet engines and it's got wings. And it's got ordnance on it. That's kind of like a cruise missile. Although this is the old school style cruise missiles that uh, many different nations, not just the Japanese, used uh, human powered, mm, let's just say one mission style, you know, tactics, <laughs> to say the least. Desperate times come for desperate measures and desperate thunder calls for Arado thunder. So we have Arado. Akbar, the cruise missile baby, but the new, the new Arado, which I'm going to show pictures of and some videos on, is awesome. It's got guns, it's got engines, we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but let's assess the situation, let's check the map. I know there's some ships, and I kind of want to uh, Akbar them, you know, as it were. Oftentimes, when I, I play Counter-Strike a lot for fun, and I'm only a Silver Elite Master, trust me, I'm not amazing by any stretch of the imagination but I do have fun with my buddy pirate and fly and slickby and spears um, and Bob my skirm and who else have I played with I play with a few other people but you know those are the usual guys we get in a squad of five and uh, on the dust too if you've played that map there is when you go to the B side there's like one tunnel into the capture point right and so basically what I do is, like, if you rush B in as the terrorists, all five of them, you know, you rush B, it's a hard rush. If some, if you get flashed or get hit with a bullet or someone throws a grenade, that first guy sometimes pauses because the first inclination is, oh, I want to survive. I don't want to die. You know, which I totally understand, but it's a video game. And you got to focus on the greater good. You got to win the game. But basically, if you run that way and you stop, everyone usually dies and the rush fails and fizzles out pretty quickly. You know, so as a result, what I call it is Baron Al-Akbar. You know, Baron Akbar. And that, what I do is I yell it, I'm like, we're going B, we're rushing B. And then I'm just going, Baron Al-Akbar, Baron Al-Akbar, Baron Al-Akbar. And uh, we run in, and um, usually I'm the, fir I'm the first one in. Because I know, if I do it right, you know, then... Oh my god, was that... Did that light cruiser just get killed by a Pulsar store? Or no, they just disappeared. Alright, so all oh my titty sprinkles, there's a lot here. But anyway, so I do what I call Baron Al-Akbar. And I think it's actually pronounced just... I don't... I think Al-Akbar are cities. I think it's in like Lebanon and maybe even in Egypt. This is a ship I cannot wait for in World of Warships and War Thunder ships. The Leander, I believe it is. British. It just looks beautiful. I like the smokestack. Bombs away! Oh, can we get that one on target? No, we might even get shot down. But we can't till our mission is over. Let's go after this other Leander class cruiser. But yeah, so it's a tactic I do because most people, like, you need that one guy on the team... And I'm not top frag on my team, you know what I mean? So, I do my part, look at all these ships, man, to basically a lock bar it. But, you know, that's what I'm doing, man. You just gotta, you just gotta get out there, and you gotta go, ALADOKBAR! <laughs> and sometimes you just really really mess it up like I did right there. But anyway, let's check out the new Arado. Oh my god. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, we're looking at the Arado AR-234 
C3, this one, as you'll notice, probably primarily after you get distracted by that little, uh, almost like a fin looking thing on the top of the cockpit, is that this one has four engines as opposed to two, and the look of the aircraft definitely is changed a lot as a result of having the two engines on either side. Um, mainly because of that little portion in the middle. It doesn't look as, you know, kind of, it's just, it looks heavier, it looks fatter. I mean, obviously it is heavier, right? But this thing is gonna be pretty awesome because one of the downsides to the Arado 234B was that it was slow and could get caught by other jets. Relatively easy, and the fact that it's unarmed, either defensively or offensively, aside from bombs, made it very difficult, although some people have used those bombs to pretty cool effects to catch enemy pursuers off guard when flying at low altitude but I think that's one of the things that makes Arado pilots kind of all the more honorable. Um, you know, and there's obviously the Arado Akbar, or the uh, cruise missile strategy, as you saw, both successfully and unsuccessfully. Um, but this time around, the Arado AR-234, the C3, has two Mauser MG-151 20s, which are 20 millimeter cannons. So it's gonna have two 20 millimeter cannons, it's gonna have uh, 250 rounds per gun. So 500 total rounds, 250 in each of the 20s. And um, the four jet engines. With It's gonna have the same bomb load as the Arado 234B, uh, B2. So it's gonna have, what? So it's gonna have up to 1,500 kilos of bombs. Um, so as you can see, that will allow you to take up to two light cruisers or destroyers out because you drop all uh, you drop two bombs under the wings at the same time and then the one under the fuselage so you only really get two options when flying realistic battles but the thing is pretty pretty awesome um, it's kind of interesting because it makes you think about what about other variants of the Arado right what other variants did they have I'm I was kind of hoping that like you may get the option of like kind of adding not necessarily gun pods, but slight changes to the Arado in this one would be great. Instead of adding other planes, what if you could just swap different variations, maybe instead of bombs, add more cannons, because there are some that are armed with different, you know, armament, not just the two 20mm MG-151s. There's the Arado 234 C3N, C3N, which is the night fighter version, and that one had two forward-firing 20s, and two 30 millimeters. So that's pretty awesome. Imagine that kind of firepower. You know, then you'd be using this more, maybe as a bomber hunter, maybe even as a jet fighter. I don't know, it kind of depends on the battle rating to be quite honest with you, but if it keeps the battle rating it has, which uh, like the Arado 234B2, which is not likely, you know, maybe that would be kind of, you'd be less inclined. Maybe you would want to take that kind of weaponry because you know people would want to go heads up with you because they're used to, you know, humble and defenseless Arados, right? But, so that's the C3 Knight version, you know, so I wouldn't that be cool to see kind of gun pods, as is kind of the case with a lot of German aircraft, uh, just changing some of the guns, you know, and having certain performances uh, changed as a result, I think that would be great. There's the Arado 234C4, with instead of two 20 millimeters, it has four 20 millimeter MG 151 20s, um, you know, in the front forward firing. That would be pretty interesting as well. And kind of even more interesting, I think, is uh, there's an Arado 234 P5, which is a three seat version with one 20 millimeter MG and four 30 millimeter. Uh, did I say 20 millimeter MG 151? Not machine gun, but MG 151 20s and for 30 millimeters. So that would be some firepower sticking on these Arados. I'm not sure, but I think it it's, seems reasonable in theory that you'd have the C3, the C3N, and the C4, which are just different variations of you know forward firing guns. One had you know the one that we do know we're gonna have the C3 is gonna have the 220s. Maybe the C3N, which has 220s and 230s, or maybe the one with 420s blazing it, you know, but uh, in honor of 420, which was yesterday, or for you guys, two days ago. 
But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see the Arado. I'm excited to see the evolution in Arado Thunder and uh, where the tactics from these brave, brave pilots goes from cruise missiles and Arado Akbar and, you know, kind of sneaking bombing missions to actually being able to dish out some pain in the form of German cannons. So I'm pretty excited. Let me know what you guys think um, and are, if there's any other really, really awesome variants of the Arado. Uh, I don't think, is there an Arado with a 50 millimeter on it? Because that would be kind of cool to see that in a bomber hunting role with a battle ranking similar to the B2, but you know, it depends if it's too fast, then they gotta change up the battle rating. But it is gonna be interesting to see how this thing plays out in Arado Thunder. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. I thank y'all for watching this special Arado Akbar and uh, kind of preview of the Arado 234 C3. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. Pull the trigger on the like button. Share the video with a friend. We need some more people to kill in our Arados, do we not? I salute you, and I'll see you guys soon.